we are all responsible for preserving the environment of our common planet. To achieve the sustainable development goals, adapt and mitigate climate change, reduce land degradation and biodiversity loss, we need to monitor many types of geographic information. The Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, FAO, is at the forefront of global efforts to fight hunger and achieve food security. FAO recognizes the importance of data collection and standards to address these major challenges at national, regional and global levels. The International Organization for Standardization provides a world forum for the establishment of common standards. In 1994, ISO established a technical committee addressing geographic information slash geomatics. And in 2006, ISO began cooperating with UNFAO to establish a series of standards, ISO 19144, on classification systems, specifically addressing land cover. This standard was adopted in 2012, and the current work is revising the standard and extending it to encompass land use. These standards are not intended to replace any existing system or schema for a country, a region, or any specific geographic area, but to complement these diverse systems, allowing for the integration of data. The progress of science is never linear. There are always some sector in any discipline that remain untouched for, for some time. And this is the, for sure the case of the formalization of uh, the meaning of our land cover land use information. Even today, in the digital age, still we rely on the ambiguity of the human language to decode and to compare our information. However, this situation can change quickly due to some innovation coming. And one of these, it is for sure the ISO standard SEML. SEML is an object-oriented system on which the definition of a specific class is given by the combination of a set of, of a standardized atomic uh, uh, attributes. So it will not assist a fixed database with a fixed legend, it will assist a database with a draft legend that can be uh, decomposed and recomposed according to the needs of each specific application. So, we have now the theoretical basis. It is up to us to put all this uh, theory into a uh, technical practice. The world is changing at breakneck speed, and the researchers and the experts need all the help they can get to speed up the process by devising automated or semi-automated processes. Digital tools can play a similar facilitator role for the land cover community while creating, processing, storing, sharing, searching and comparing geographic data. In 2021, FAO has developed an online land cover legend registry based on international standards. Its aim is to provide updated and latest land cover legend information at global, regional, national and subnational levels. Using land cover legend registry, a user can access latest information on land cover legend and contribute to populating the registry to ensure the sustainability of the system by engaging land cover community from all around the world. The land cover legend information is available in different machine learning readable format including for high performance and cloud computing applications. En Uruguay, el conocimiento de la cobertura del suelo, la, su evolución y la detección de cambios se ha vuelto un requisito fundamental para la, para la planificación y la gestión del, ter, del territorio. Usando el sistema de clasificación LSS de FAO, Uruguay construyó una leyenda adaptada a la realidad nacional. It's important that land cover data, when produced, be updated regularly, given that it feeds into the SDGs and also the red related activities that Ghana has embarked on. As part of the first phase of the Severe West African program, USAID and NASA has been supporting to develop a regional land cover map for the West African sub-region. It is important that the national land cover classification scheme that was developed for Ghana would be harmonized with the regional land cover reference system that has been produced by FAO.
Bangladesh Forest Department prepare land use and land cover map for the national and sub-national level. We prepared first national land use map of 2005 using Landsat satellite images. In 2012, Bangladesh Forest Department has initiated the process for preparing a land cover map, maintaining international standard and quality. FAO came forward to assist us through an USAID funded project. Bangladesh Forest Department then started discussion with other land cover land use practitioners such as Survey of Bangladesh, Local Government Engineering Department, Department of Agriculture Extension, Soil Resource Development Institute and others and decided to use land cover classification system LCCS version 3 to prepare 2015 land cover map of Bangladesh using spot satellite images. The sound administration or check of the support system required information on land use and land cover at parcel level with a pan-European extent. To build such recurrent system, there's been a need for data interoperability and harmonization from different national land cover sources. Hence, since 2009, we have started to use the FAO land cover classification system and land cover meta-language thematic framework and also to follow all ISO developments on land cover and land use. For more than 30 years, the National Institute for Space Research in Brazil, INPI, had been monitoring land use and land cover, mainly related to forest conversion into other covers through produce project. In terms of methodology, um, one of the greatest challenges for monitoring the project developed by INPI and partners, uh, such as project S and Terra Class, is automating the process of information extraction from satellite images while maintaining the standard of results obtained by visual interpretation. Under Salvir Hindu Kushimala ITC mode, we are using publicly available Landsat images for national and regional land cover mapping. Bangladesh Forest Department Forest Research and Training Center from Nepal and Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock from Afghanistan were involved in land cover mapping effort and also harmonization of land cover classification systems. Those are government agencies that have also played an important role in collecting training samples as well as validation of land cover. Together we are trying to understand the changes landscape of Hindu Kush Himalaya region as well as filling the land cover data gap. At its establishment 20 years ago, Swalim was mandated to develop, consolidate and manage land and water information for Somalia, essential for informed decision making to promote food security. In the past, land cover mapping was done through analog remote sensing techniques. Around 2006, Swalim transitioned to larger computer-based digital remote sensing methods with dedicated software and use of land cover classification system developed by FAO as a mapping standard, which enhanced satellite image interpretation and analysis. LCCS was successfully introduced in Eastern European countries, such as Bulgaria, Romania, Azerbaijan, and Moldova, through FAO technical assistance projects. It helped the relevant administration to build and strengthen their capacity in the use of new technologies for agricultural monitoring and to improve the semantic interoperability of their national land cover data. In Europe, the LCML was implemented in the Project Special, a large-scale cross-border initiative between Bulgaria and Romania in the frame of the Danube strategy. It helped the semantic translation of the land cover data recorded in the national land parcel identification systems and they are upscaled to create a common reference land cover dataset for the entire cross-border area. ISO land cover meta language could provide the structure for such conceptual link. It could be further enriched by some novel approaches for better description of the individual, physical, three-dimensional nature of land cover features and their interactions with the soil. The advisory group 13 on land cover land use of ICTC211 could be one of the opportunities to discuss such developments. We have uh, now no land cover class and the mapping standard in China. One reason is uh, land cover diversity over large territory, especially in local land cover mapping. Another reason is uh, various application and uh, 
purpose. Now, Ministry of Ecology and uh, Environment in China accept FAO LCCS to produce land cover of uh, time series at the national level. We hope it will be standard and uh, extend to more users. FAO plays a central role in the development of international standards on land cover and land use notably through the development of standards on land cover classification system and subsequently the inclusion of land cover metalinguage in ISO TC211. The joint UN FAO ISO land cover and land use metalinguages provide a valuable and common framework for characterizing land-based geographic features. These efforts help improve our understanding on land features, promote effective data integration in the digital age, and better contribute to the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals.